We propose a general framework for producing multimodal outputs for image-to-image -image translation problems. Pix2Pix, as proposed by Isola et al., has proven to be a highly effective framework for image generation problems. Given training pairs A, B, Pix2Pix trains a generator G using an L1 loss to encourage accuracy and a learned discriminator to encourage realism. Pix2Pix is able to produce impressive results over a wide array of problems including producing pixels from labels, satellite imagery from maps, and photos from sketches. However, many of these mappings are one-to-many in nature, and pix to pix only produces a single answer. Can we perhaps create a system that produces a distribution of answers? One possible approach is to add stochasticity to the system by injecting a random noise vector to the generator. This baseline approach does not lead to much variation in the output. Multiple values in the latent space are being mapped to the same output. This is known as the problem of mode collapse. How can we prevent this from happening? We explore a space of several possible approaches to bypass this problem across a variety of datasets. Conditional variational autoencoders encode the ground truth output into a latent space, which is then used by the generator to help reconstruct the ground truth image. A KL loss is added to encourage regularity in the latent space. On the other hand, the conditional latent regressor model starts with a randomly drawn noise vector, produces an output, and then uses an encoder to attempt to recover the original latent vector. We note that on a meta level, both of these approaches encourage a bijection between output B and latent Z, cycling between the two spaces. As such, we are inspired to blend the two together. We call this model BicycleGAN. Our method is able to achieve results which are both realistic and diverse. For example, on the problems of labels to facades, edges to shoes, edges to handbags, and night images to day images. Here we show some generated samples as we traverse the latency space. We invite you to pause the video at any given time to further examine the results. Thank you for watching our video.